greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? <laughs> Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In case you haven't guessed it, um, Morgan and Charles are going bison hunting. Now, I did hunting videos and crafting videos before, and I just recently did the legendary bear hunt video. Hunting is very important in Red Dead Redemption because it's a source of food and clothing in a sense. So that's why there are a lot of videos probably about hunting. But I digress. Let's get on with bison hunting. What you prepare for? Greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. <laughs> no, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. How much you can get anything? There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Like. Anything Rockstar does, this is not going to be a simple bison hunt. I'm going to fast forward through the journey because it is quite a long one. And you will talk to Charles a little bit about things and learn more about his people and his backstory, etc. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through until we get to the main part of the mission. Yeah, the ride is going to be very, very, very long. So even fast forwarding at 20 times the rate, it's going to take a few seconds here. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. You're going to want to use a rifle for this, and the scope turned off. I'm using the Lancaster Repeater. It's a more powerful rifle, and you're going to have to shoot the bison a few times. And once Charles has the bison kind of circling and taken care of, you can just start trying to get a good shot at it and take it down. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns too. It can all be used. And there you have it. But again, with Rockstar, this is just not a simple bison hunt. There will have to be um, something else going on because the mission would end once you take the bison down. And yeah, Charles, well, let's just say. Something else is going to happen once you have the bison skinned. Good 
job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Boy. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Yep, as stated before, this is not a normal bison hunt. And so we're going to fast forward a little bit to the next main point of the story. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. You find anything, Arthur? haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? No! <gasps> it's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. Kill him. All right. Now get out of here! Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister! I got a family! Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Well, now that Charles is gone, you can loot the camp. And you will find something that is a value. You see the yellow cloud? That doesn't go away until you actually find the main thing that you were intended to find. And this is one of the problems I have with the um, Red Dead Redemption is you stand next to something and you can't search through, you can take things but it's very difficult. They don't actually tell you, hey, look over here. I actually get fed up with searching and I try and leave the camp. And then it says return to the poacher's camp. 
So I decide I'm going to go back and search the camp until I find what I'm supposed to be looking for. I kind of figure out what I need to look for is in this box. I just got to move the poacher's body and set him aside. And finally, loot the box. And what do I find? Poison throwing knife pamphlet. And I pick that up. The yellow blur cloud thing goes. And I'm going to take a look at this recipe. And it tells you how to make poison throwing knives. Yeah, awesome. Great thing to find. And that is the end of the mission. Mission accomplished. And, well, I hope this is helpful. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. I post four videos about video games a week. And if you like them a lot, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you won't miss out. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.